uh, semifinals will come to Uptown Charlotte. Thousands of international fans will gather here in the Queen City. We've been getting you ready for next week's action all throughout the tournament. Um, tonight, we're taking a look at how soccer culture has grown here in Charlotte. Our Cam Gaskins brings us the story of one young player in Charlotte FC's academy who moved here to pursue his dreams and found a special bond with the family he now lives with. Soccer players are often known for their rigid routines. Part of Chandler Young's routine includes breakfast at the Charlotte FC training facility every morning. I just make breakfast at all times of the day and I just really like making pancakes. And then a little more breakfast as soon as he gets home. Just hope um, my trainer doesn't see this. She's gonna be like, why are you eating pancakes as a meal after a game? For Chandler, these pancakes are more than just a daily dose of protein. I don't have to like mix eggs or anything like that's too much work. <laughs> They're a reminder of home over 600 miles away. I mean, my mom used to um, make like pancakes at home usually before, before I went to school in the morning. Chandler is from Brooklyn, but his soccer journey has taken him all over the world. Like I went to Belgium for a soccer trip. I mean, I've been to Spain. I mean, I've been to England like five times. Uh, Italy, like, I mean, I've been, I've been a lot of places. And last year, that journey took him to Matthews when he signed on to the Charlotte FC Academy. But to move here and train full-time year-round, he had to be paired with a host family. That's where the Birches come in. Much Chandler later, yeah. arrived on um, <coughs> January 8th, which we will never forget in this house because it was my birthday. And so we always joke that I got a 16-year-old for my birthday. <laughs> Jeff and Vanessa already had two kids of their own, but it didn't take long after Chandler moved in before it started to feel like he was the third. Within a few weeks, I was just kind of like, I felt like I was one of the kids in the family. For my birthday, my 18th birthday, they, um, <laughs> I don't know how, but they got baby pictures and pictures throughout my whole life and put them on my door. <laughs> you don't really realize that adding one more person is going to completely change your life and in our case it changed it absolutely for the better. Between meals and laundry and anything else under this roof, Chandler has truly become a part of the Birch family over the last 18 months. You know, of course my son is a soccer player and he was kind of over the moon about, you know, thinking he was going to have a, you know, a buddy to play with. I always wanted a brother who played soccer, you know. I tried to get my sister to play soccer, but she just, she wasn't into it. And that family has been there to cheer Chandler on through every step and every success he's continued to find out on the soccer field. The amount of pride I have in the success that he's had is, honestly, it's that of a father. My second family, I mean, it's... I really, like, words can't even describe how much they've done for me. Chandler just recently graduated from high school and now has his sights set on signing a professional contract and hopefully joining the Crown Legacy FC roster, which means eventually he'll be moving out. I don't think it ever occurs to them that he's not always going to live here. <laughs> That's going to be a very yeah. sad day. We should probably start prepping for that day now. <laughs> but even when that day comes, the Birches say Chandler will always have a seat at their table. I think he is gonna go very far, so I think it'll be really exciting to watch. He's our son for life. He might leave this house, but he will never leave our family. In Matthews, Cam Gaskins, WBTV on your side.